Hello creator, welcome to Odessa Rose Creates. I'm Robin Schmidt, I'm an independent chalk couture designer. I'm, I am here to share with you the love I have for crafting and creating with chalk couture's reusable silk screen transfers. Awesome product and if you don't know anything about it, stay tuned and I'm gonna show you how easy it is, right? So um, we are promoting a huge sale this weekend starting now through the end of Monday. So um, we have some retired transfers coming back, um, over 30, and they are kind of flying off the shelves right now. They come, they're going in and out of stock because of all the counting and everything. So if you're on the site, just kind of keep refreshing and kind of wait it out and make sure that what you want doesn't come back in stock. So check that out over I think there's at least 30 retired transfers and they are 20% off. But on top of that, you can stack this bargain of purchasing or earning these transfers for free. And um, this is our creative kickstart program where we have three transfers that you can earn for free. If you purchase $75 in products, you get one free of your choice. $100, you're gonna get pick two, and if you buy $125 in product, you get three. You can also purchase these transfers, but it doesn't take long to figure out which one you want. Whoop, this is the one we're gonna work on today. And then we have this coffee one. So I have worked with these two already in my last two lives, and um, today we're gonna to work on this. And we're doing a basic black, white, the wood tone and to represent the wood tone in our chalk paste we're using gold shimmer so this was the love is brewing we did this on chalk tours um, double-sided box frame now great way to get to the hundred dollar mark hundred twenty five dollar mark is to get some of our awesome surfaces our box frames come in four sizes five by five five by seven 9 by 12 and 6 by 18, which is, that's the size we're going to work on today. Double sided meaning it has the whitewashed side and then it has the stained side. And either side can be painted also if you don't care for the color or you want to add some more color, you can paint that also. Um, the other half of that transfer was this one, blah 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 coffee. This is on Chalk Tours board and base. It is also a two-sided. So before I put these out to sell, I'm going to put a transfer on the back sides and I'm probably going to do a fall one. That way, um, if they want to just turn it over for the fall season, they can do that with ease. So I think even though I don't have the new fall transfers yet, which are coming out in July, I'm going to pick up one from uh, years past and go ahead and, and just get them ready so they can just flip them over. So I think that's the advantage of having our double-sided surfaces is that you can just turn them over for a holiday season, right? Um, and then we did Chalk Tours Bistro spinning sign, and we did the one transfer with this, love you to the fridge and back, and work hard snack often. So all of these are geared for the kitchen, and um, I think they're super cute. So we're going to set these aside and like I said, we're going to pull out the 6x18 double sided box frame and I'm going to work on that third transfer that you can earn for free by purchasing from chocotour.com slash Odessa Rose and let's open up our box frame. I am going to paint the stain side black. So I want to show you how easy that is to paint it. These frames come in these wonderful boxes. They're high quality. You're not gonna find this quality of surfaces at your hobby stores or craft stores. They're super cool, okay? And they have a nice wide base so they can stand. If you wanna hang them, you can hang them off the edge. So pretty nifty. Nifty, nifty. I'm going to paint this side black. I'm going to put some painter's tape around the edge. And let's get started. Let's see who's who's watching today and who's saying hello. 
I hope lots and lots of peace of people are gonna see. There we are. Hi. We have some watching. Rosa, hello, hello, good morning. It's the weekend. All right. I like to start out with a uh, even end here. And I just kind of laid on here to get the length I need. Don't need that guy. And I'm just going to place it right on the frame. Right along here. Press it down. Okay. And then we'll do the end and the other side and the other end. So this is just how I do it. Just make sure it's up against the board, the back board. everyone doing? Got big weekend plans. Good morning. Carlene's watching. Good morning. Heidi. Hi. And Rosa again is saying hello. Good morning. Will you, we'll have to see on the replay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the other pieces I did. I'm also going to show you what else I did uh, Wednesday. Because yesterday I worked out at the store where I sell my designs. So just running this along the edge here. Pressing it down tight. And one more. Wednesday's project on our diagonal palette, I painted, but I also heavily distressed it. So that's kind of another thing you could do, even with these, if you wanted to distress them down, you could. Okay. All right, so here's our six by 18 box frame by Chocotour available on my website. You should see that in the description, or maybe you're gonna see the Visit Chocotour link down below and I'm going to use I like to use fusion mineral paint I talk about it about every live but um, <clears throat> it's available at usually specialty shops but you can go to fusionmineralpaint.com and find a dealer near you um, and it's just an awesome paint I just love it I'm not I know I don't know I'm not a big expert on it but why it's so awesome but it's just super smooth um, I'll probably will put two coats on but it dries super quickly with the heat gun so because the transferring of our transfers won't take long at all so I didn't go ahead and prep this ahead of time so you can see how easy it is to paint these. Some people like to use chalk paint. You can use just any house um, wall paint, latex paint. Another reason why I like this paint is because it's in this nice jar and it's not a big can. You don't have to mess with opening a big gallon or anything like that. Generally smooths out pretty good. It's like you almost could use just one coat, but I like to put it on thin so I can dry it quickly. Since we're gonna go right into chalking. I 
I hope I get on live a lot next week. My daughter and her husband and the three kids are spending most of the week here because they're in the middle of remodeling their home and the main floor, all the new uh, hardwood is getting installed, finished. So they can't really be there because they can't get upstairs to their bedrooms or anything. So they're going to be here, which means, uh, well, there's a babysitter helping. A nanny is helping because Blair goes back to work. She's on maternity leave right now. But she has to go back to work. So at least I'll have some help. But I don't know how much I'm going to be on. And if I do get on, it'll probably be Miss Vivian um, chalking and creating for the most part. She's just turned seven. And she's been talking with me since the beginning of my designership. So over three years. And she does love to chalk. She loves to craft, create art. She's so cute. They got a, uh, she got one of those art um, easels with the, they're all wooden and the, at a garage sale yesterday for like $7 or something. She's already got it set up and drawing and painting on it. It collapses down into like a wooden briefcase thing. So cute. She's the little artist. So we're getting this dried up. I'm going to quickly put on a second coat and then we will chalk on it after that. Welcome, Lindsay. You will love Robin. She's so, oh, well, thank you, Heidi. And hello, who was it, Lindsay? New to watching me. Thank you. Thanks for coming on. Some of this, oh, I got to show you what I did yesterday. Today is going to be kind of a basic um, chalking, but uh, I'll show you. Uh, if you didn't see yesterday's project, not yesterday, Wednesday. Wednesday was when I started out on my personal page by accident and was doing my um, creative kickstart spinner. Then um, I stopped it and came over to Odessa Rose page and did the uh, flower transfer that I'll show you with Chocotour's diagonal board. We're getting this dried. I'm going to just brush on. It's it's actually not too bad with just one coat, but I'm going to just do a second one. Just real quick, um, just to get it a little bit deeper. And so this paint, like, doesn't really show the, I mean, the brush strokes are not really even there, especially on top of this wood sided this wooded side wood stain side is that what I'm trying to say of course if you use a good quality brush that helps with uh, quality brush quality paint well, it helps not seeing the brush strokes so much this brush here is a purdy p-u-r-d-y brush you can get at your hardware store Smooth it out, dry it, we'll put a little wax on it, and we'll be ready to chalk. All right, I think it's safe to put this in the water. Put my brush in the water, close up my jar. This is what I did. Uh, Wednesday on our diagonal board. So if you didn't see the video of that, go check it out. How many of you uh, 
purchase some of our retired transfers that are on sale starting today. And if you did purchase, which ones are your favorite that you got, that you're excited most to work with? I had most of them. Um, two of them I have, but I ordered them again because I've about worn them out. And um, one being the, the watermelon one. I love that one. Uh, the, I'm going to say it wrong. Mara, Marrakesh, I forget how they say it, transfer, the big pattern, looks like a tile, and I ordered, oh, the strawberry jam and the apple pie, both of those are this size, I think, and I think they're going to look great on these diagonal boards. So we're getting this dried up. Yep, yep, yep. All right, now we can just take off our tape. I hope they will have the polka, they, they do not have the polka dots. They don't, but they should. That's a good one to have. That would, maybe someday. They kind of geared them all towards summer. Well, not all of them, but a lot of them are summer related. So you can see how sharp this looks painted black with this tone of wood. Looks really pretty. Right? Nice. I'm gonna I'm gonna am going even though um, Fusion Mineral Paint does come with uh, a built-in uh, primer and a built-in sealer. Um, I still put a little bit of wax over it, especially because I didn't allow this paint to cure. It may be dried to the touch, but it's not like cured, and I don't want to take the chance of uh, a sticky transfer lifting up my paint. One reason to use paste, but um, there are other reasons to use some wax, um, and I'm talking about wax um and chocolate also has a wax so if you aren't able to get to a hobby store or excuse me to a hardware store um just order our wax all right so i'm just gonna apply um, a thin coat of finishing wax on here and i talk about every day about why i use wax um also, if you would have a bleed out underneath your transfer, um, it's much easier to uh, clean that up and correct it if that chalk paste is on top of wax because the wax, or excuse me, the chalk paste pigment from it, the coloring doesn't get absorbed into paint, especially on white paint. That's important, or lighter colored paint. Um, so... It allows your transfer to come off easier, so you're not stretching out your transfer. Okay. And today we're just gonna use white chalk paste, and I'm gonna throw in some gold shimmer because I've used, those are the colors, white, black, and gold shimmer I've been using on this set of transfers. For this whole thing, I gotta grab my gold. Where did I put my gold? It's probably right here on my table. Okay, so let's grab this Creative Kickstart transfer and see what has the little hearts. I think I'm going to put the little silverware in place of the heart. For fun. They also gave us, let me open it up. I can get it open. So these lines are meant so you can cut your pieces apart, but they also came with a line to chalk paste. And if I have room, I'm going to use that too. 
I'm going to cut these apart on the cut line. And generally, they have the spacing pretty much figured out for you. Like this will fit right in here perfectly. Okay. So you don't have to worry too much about that. All right. So we're going to put it in there like this. I'm not going to do the hearts. I'm going to use this, these little fork and knife in place of the heart. So also, since it's a brand new transfer, I'm going to go ahead and put a little fuzz on the back in case they are super sticky. And I'm just gonna put it right up against that left side. And I'm not gonna measure, but you can measure. In fact, I might raise it up just a little bit and we maybe we'll put this line underneath. I was going to do, make a line, line, line all the way across and make a, like a frame. Um, but I'm trying to see if I can still uh, get that in there. I think I'll just do them on the, on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Trying to decide, add it to the top or just here in the bottom. Maybe just on the bottom one time. I'm gonna keep it simple. Not gonna get too fancy. So I'm just gonna raise it up just slightly for that line. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one down since we're not chalking that heart. I think it'll be all right. Just make sure we're on the same level. On the all the lettering's on the same plane, same line. So you see they're overlapped. So I'm just gonna chalk up to eat. And then I'm going to peel this back a little bit and pick this one up. But I wanted them all, it's easier to line them up, the transfers, um, together. <laughs> then do one and then lay, lay the other one down. So I'm going to do it like this. So I'm going to do all the lettering in white. Grabbing a small squeegee. You're just gonna load it up on the angled part of your squeegee. And we're just gonna do the eat. Cook and eat, and I'm not gonna do that little heart. Make sure all those silk screen areas are filled in so your letters are perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna like just peel this back a little bit so I can pick this up. Do a cook and eat. I'm gonna lay this on the shiny side of the paper and I will take this to the sink and wash it later. And now we can do clean and repeat, same way.
for any of you gals, uh, designers that are going to go to uh, the convention in Nashville in a couple weeks. I will be heading down there. We leave on Tuesday, in about 10 days. We're driving. Okay, so we got that. I'm just gonna peel that off. So there's all the words, perfectly done. I'm gonna dry it, and then we'll put on the fork and knife. Now you can just dry your chalk paste um, with a hair dryer, chalk tours, heating tool, which is out of stock right now, but we do have a heating tool. It's not quite as strong of a pr air pressure or heat as my embossing gun, but it's perfect uh, to use or just a hair dryer. Um, but I still use my embossing gun because it's faster and quicker, especially for my lives. dried. Maybe they will bring back one in the coming. Yes, that is true, Heidi. Probably someday they will bring back a polka dot. There's actually the large 18 by 18 polka dot, and then they had a small, smaller polka dot in a size B, a 9 by 12 transfer. Um, and I think both of them are retired right now. And even before that, there were some other polka dots that I have also. Okay, so now we're gonna use our gold shimmer. And I'm going to cut out, I think just the fork and spoon. Oh, you know it would be cute. If you did a uh, fork, knife, and spoon in the middle down here, the bigger one, fork, knife, and spoon right here, and then did a line on each side of it, that would be cute. Or even did the cross silhouette and still put your hearts up here. You could do that. Or you could do your two lines and put a heart in the middle. I just wasn't feeling the hearts, so. these little pieces. So, if I can get it peeled back. I don't even think I really need to even fuzz it too much. So I'm kind of lining the X part of the silverware uh, even with the crossbar on the E. And I'm going to take a multi-tool into my gold paste. So you see I kind of have the X marked up with the center of the E. Take some gold shimmer. And you know what, if you don't have a 6x18, or the space to place a six by 18 frame in your kitchen, you could stack the words, cook, eat, clean, repeat, like down a, um, like a nine by 12. Kind of like I did the, just you, me and the dogs. Let's see if I can get this puppy picked up. Here we go. That's cute. And I'm gonna put one right here. Again, trying to line it up. There's no uh, handy dandy letter there that has the crossbar on it. Uh, 
I like to go over these shimmer paste uh, a few times in different directions. It's a little bit harder for it to get down in those silk screens. And it's got that shimmer glitter in it. And one more time over here. knife going across there instead of the hearts. It's cute. Very cute. Did they have a heart on the end? Where are they? No, just in just between the words. Okay, good. Now we could put this line, which we could do in the gold or we could do it in the white. I might do it in the gold. is just you don't have to use this at all if you don't want to it's kind of cute I may measure make sure I'm kind of getting this centered I find my ruler my big ruler is upstairs for some reason I left it up there okay so 12 centimeters I could go a little bit to the left just a smidgen Bingo. Okay. Just pressing that down. And then I'm going to use the gold shimmer again. that up. Ooh, easy. So there it is. Nice and simple. I will sell this piece and um, I am going to put transfers, all these pieces that have double sided that I haven't put anything on the back. I'm going to put, whoop, I'm going to put uh, something else on the back. I'm thinking more of a seasonal, maybe fall or, or even Christmas. That way the person who gets it can just flip it over uh, in the same place in their home and have uh, something seasonal on the back. So what, whether it's fall or um, Christmas. So I'm gonna do that with this one. And then I could even paint this uh, red or green if I wanted to do Christmas. Or just leave it in brown. And then same with this guy. Some of these may be put on a island or something or in a tiered tray or on a tray. And maybe you don't want anything on the back. Um, so if this was um, a piece that might you may be walking around, you may not want to put anything on the back. But I'm going to do it, um, especially these two box pieces. Maybe I want this one in case... You know they would want to have it on an island or something or you're going to walk around it so well, there's my uh easy peasy chalking today this week um other than this one in fact the chalking part of this is easy it's just preparing your surface a lot of my designs are all about the surface or the background the negative space um, um but chalking this was all done in two colors white and dune i just splattered all over and then I just kind of smeared it in as I went. So check out that video from thir what t t Wednesday. Wednesday is when I did this piece. If you want to see how I um, stained these corners, I used a new product for that. So check it out. And otherwise, have a happy weekend. 
Tomorrow I work out at the Valley in Nebraska, so if you are in Omaha, come on out and see me out there. Tomorrow I'll be there from 10 to 4. So, uh, any questions before we hang off here? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Nope. Okay, perfect. Have a great weekend. I'll talk with you later. Bye.